On this week's boiler tip, we're gonna answer a question about adding turbulators to a fire tube boiler. The benefit of a turbulator is that we're breaking up what we call laminar flow in the second half of a tube generally so that we continue to get heat extraction because when flue gases are going through a tube, it's cooling on the outside where it's in contact with the tube, but still stays, stays hot in the middle. So a turbulator breaks that up and gives us transfer for a greater duration of the tube. Now, whether or not a turbulator will work in a fire tube boiler kind of depends on the boiler. If I've already got a four pass boiler, because of the turbulence in each turnaround section, I'm really not gonna benefit from adding a turbulator. On the other hand, if you've got a single pass boiler, like a Sellers or a two pass boiler, in many cases, a turbulator gives you great advantage because we don't have as turnaround areas at all. We've got a very limited number. Um, the, the question that we have to look at really is whether the fan of the boiler can handle the additional back pressure of having turbulators in there. And generally what we'll do is consult the turbulator manufacturer because they've got a pretty good database of what boilers will work with turbulators and which ones won't. If we add turbulators and we don't have enough fan capacity to overcome that additional pressure, essentially we'll lose capacity on the boiler because the amount of fuel we put in is limited by the amount of air we can put in and, and a turbulator is going to restrict that airflow. But there are a lot of applications where they, where they will work, so it's worth taking a look at.